Hey, this is John Young of the Weekend Handyman. Today we're looking at a, a stick vac from Eureka. Now, this is kind of a little bit out of our range, but as someone who has an office space, and we have computers and such, so, and you've got to do the vacuum thing. And one of the things we got into a couple of years ago is having little robot vacuums that do kind of a daily run through, but there's some things they cannot do. And of course, we've got our, our vacuums for the shop that really don't do a nice job. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at what is all in the, included with the, the Eureka. This is the flash um, right here that we're going to be looking at. And then we're going to take it to a spot in the office. And this is one of the floor mats that never gets clean with the little robotic vacuums. Doesn't matter which one we run, we've tested them all, it doesn't pull the sand out. You'll be able to see the sand and we'll give you a live demonstration of what this is. So we're going to dig in and pull out all the different pieces and such because there's a variety of different crevice tools and, and tools involved with this specific one that over here, this specific uh, stick vacuum. Now this is something, for those of you, the, for the guys in the crowd who are watching this, you're thinking that you don't want to make this a holiday gift because if you're going to be doing a vacuum for a holiday gift or something to that effect, you know the stigma behind that. This isn't for your spouse. This is something you buy for yourself because you want to have the ability to be able to clean, clean quickly and do your thing. So we've got our little power head here, which the power head receives its electricity and such from the stick back motor itself. We've got the wand, the extension wand, which you can see also has the ability to wrap the cord around and it is a pass through electric. And then we have our additional hand back. This is the little storage base for that. And the wall, or I should say the accessories or to they hold everything put it all together. And then we should be to the point of getting to the back unit itself here in just a second. Uh, crevice tool, more of a an elongated crevice tool. So we have two different ones. We have a, a shorter version that has a little bit of has a little bit of a brush on it for getting dust out of different things, specifically keyboards. And then of course we have a little bit longer one that can be used for getting around in corners. And then the main element of our vacuum. This is the Rico Flash right here. Now what's kind of cool about this is that it is a bagless technology. So we can take our dust cap off and be able to dump this I just pull this out, dump everything, put it back together, and into the vacuum we go. Now the flow of, of the way the debris comes in, it will come in through the vacuum, through the front, and it will drop in to this little area right here, suck through, and then get sucked out you know, the, as far as the air comes out and everything gets, stays right in there. And we'll put things back together. Nice sealed gasket right there. We have a gasket on that area. It just basically lines it up, puts it in, and we're good to go. Air filter is at the very top. We can go and pop that out and clean that, and then we can pull, there's a little tab here. So we have these things that can be hand washed, dried well, and reused. Which is kind of a kind of a big thing. Now some some of the dust bagless vacuums out there don't have a really great filter system. This has actually got a two-stage filter system and they can be washed and reused which is really quite beneficial. So to add a our little tools to it they just go snap on and they're locked in which is also kind of nice because there's times where you're vacuuming around the seats in the truck and it gets stuck under there or something to that effect. You're not going to have a problem with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this to that spot. We're going to use the extension right here. Let's line that up and I'd use the extension and we're going to use it as much as a vacuum, like a traditional floor vacuum as, as you would find. So it's going to have the power head going, it's going to have the, the suction and such, and we're going to see if this is going to pull up some of that sand and debris that never gets pulled up by those little robotic vacuums. So let's jump over there and take a look and see what we can do with this Eureka Flash. So we're all set up here. We've got two mats here, one going in the office area where we have our computers and things set up. And the second one is kind of in the workshop area that is coming in from outside, just around the corner. So these two mats 
this particular one that, that the Eureka is on right now, this particular one is the one that has kind of a daily or three to four times a week robotic vacuum go over it. And you can see that there is some sand and such in the on, the on the rug that just hasn't been picked up. Little things that just don't. So this could be a good test. And then we're going to go to that rug. That's the one that that is kind of a mess. And I'm going to do both rugs here on this demonstration so you guys can check this out. For controls, there's a very simple thumb switch here. It has basically a one and a two. The one is, is the power head on, but it's at a little bit slower rate. And the two is the power head on and is at a little faster rate. The vacuum itself doesn't change from uh, noticeably, but there is a difference in the speed of the power head. So we're gonna get this started and do a little demonstration. The cord itself, they've got a lot of cord out this, and that's of course, a good and a bad. Good because you won't need to have extension cords, which are really prone upon when it comes to vacuums. Uh, bad, it's you know kind of in our way here with our, our different uh, camera things, but we'll make do. So there was our first pass. Let's take a look at how much debris is in the unit there. We can see that there's there is some sand and, and things that have gotten stuck up in there or gotten sucked up. As I'm looking at the carpet, it certainly did a better job than a vacuum or as far as the robotic vacuum. But let's see what happens if we go to two and see if it does, because there's still quite a bit of sand in this. Well, the second pass, putting this on the second setting, I don't know, it doesn't sound like it has more vacuum, more suction, but yet it definitely it definitely did pick up more and the carpet looks actually pretty good. Um, I went, of course, 90, uh, perpendicular to my original path. I was going going the long way. I turned around and went the other direction just to see if it would get a, get a little bit. I think if a person would just back and forth a time or two, it would definitely pick up more, more debris. So... It definitely has more pickup than any robotic vacuum. So for those spots where you can run a robotic vacuum in your house, that's great, but there's gonna be spots where you need to have a little bit more and this stick would definitely, stick vacuum would definitely do it here from Eureka. Now let's go over to the other one. You can kind of see that there's debris out there and that one is more messy than this one, even though you really can't see it as well. I'm gonna go over there and vacuum and you guys are gonna just have this view and then we'll uh, come back and talk about this in just a moment.
Well, there you see, this did a great job on that mat. It did a really nice job on this one, but that mat, it must just be a little bit different texture. It's a little lower texture on that particular mat up here, and it looks absolutely fabulous. It looks household ready. This one, uh, when we went back and forth the second time, when we went that, uh, that uh, perpendicular way, it's looking absolutely great too. This is the best it's looked since we have, have laid it down here in the office. Now I wanna show you, we're gonna take that off, and I wanna show you exactly how much dirt and debris that was caught in there. And you can see that there's quite a bit of sand and, and fuzzies, what have you, and it's kind of collected inside there on the little filter. We're gonna take this apart and you can see that the filter's got a little bit of, of discoloring from sucking up some dust. I'll just take that and put it off to the side. And I'm going to pull this one up a little bit. So this is all nice and clean here. We just have a little bit of dust on the top. And of course, this is meant to be pulled out and cleaned. So you are good to go with that. Let's take it and push our dust cap here. And we're going to take this apart. I'm gonna set the vacuum itself off to the side so you can take a look at this. This pops out. And you can see I had some leaf pieces and different things in there. That was all sucked up from these two carpeting, the two pieces of carpet. So I can go dump this, kind of uh, blow it out a little bit just to get some of the, uh, the remnants out. And then we are ready to go. You can see that in that little, that little tube area right there, there's a little bit of a filtration, and that's where it's uh, being able to filter filter the products, or, or, or I should say the, the debris from from the area. So that's it. Nice job. Let's uh, let's head back to the table. Well, there you got to see it in action. Hopefully that'll help you decide if this is something that's going to work for you or if it's something that you want to find a different vacuum. But at least this will give you a good idea of what the Eureka Flash can do. Links will be in the description below so you can go check this out. This is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. For more tips and how-to videos, go to WeekendHandyman.com.